Hello, this is a tutorial for the suspension or cable stayed bridge. Um, this is what you should be working on after you complete the truss bridge for a cost of less than $230,000. The suspension and cable stayed bridges operate a little bit different than the truss bridge uh, that we had been utilizing. You're going to notice that we need to use the cable anchorages and um, most of the components are going to be pretty small uh, in a real life situation. Uh, the components that are strung over the tall pillars uh, are a series of cables and the bridge itself has a truss that is being suspended um, and attached to that main cable. To get started to make a suspension or cable stayed bridge, um, you can do a new design, click next to the third uh, criteria selection, you need to make sure you have two cable anchorages. All right, those are what make the cable state or suspension bridge possible. When that is selected, you can go ahead and click next and finish. Um, automatically, it's loading a template for me. It probably will not do that for you. So if you go file, load template, for the suspension style bridges, there are two different templates. There's a cable stayed, which is where the tower is connected independently to the various points of the truss. And there is a suspension bridge, which is where there is a common uh, cable strung across, and the bridge is connected to that common cable through multiple points. It doesn't matter which one of the two you use, but I would like you to complete one or the other. Um, the bridge that I had completed is a suspension bridge. I'm going to open that one up so you can see it. All right, the suspension bridge um, is much different than the truss bridge because, like I said, a lot of these components can be much smaller. Uh, this bridge is by no means bottomed out, so this bridge could be made significantly cheaper. Um, I just use this one as an example. These pieces, uh, the pillars on each end of the bridge, are going to have to be substantially sized. Um, they carry the weight, essentially, of the entire bridge um, because those cables that are strung over have to be supported by those components. The rest of these components can be shrunk pretty substantially. Um, just like we did with the truss bridge, any piece that is under um, compression should be made out of hollow tube. Any pieces that are under tension or tension and compression should be made out of solid bar. Um, pieces that are remaining that are very large, you might want to try to change to a different type of material. Um, we will be working on one or the other, and we'll have a, a mini competition to see who can make the cheapest suspension and the cheapest cable stayed bridge while the rest of the students work on finishing up their truss bridge. So you can use the same tips and techniques from the truss bridge to complete this. Um, I'd recommend saving. If you'd like to do one of each, the cable state and the suspension, you're welcome to do so. Good luck.